respectively. The seals chambers had to be machined to fit the new dry gas seals and the sealing gas panels connections ports. In the low pressure case the seals modification has been a success. We are operating for six years with the seals installed in 2000, without failures. But, unfortunately, it has not been the case with high pressure compressor. In five years of operation, from 2000 to 2005, the HK seals have failed seven times, presenting an unacceptable failure rate, 1.4 failures per year. The purpose of this paper is to describe the problem and the solution adopted as well as to discuss the reliability aspects involved in a major change in the shaft sealing system of an existing compressor Alfredo Jose G. A. Borba Petrobras Fertilizer Plant, Camassari, Bahia. Brazil Fabiano Oliveira Borges Petrobras Fertilizer Plant, Camassari, Bahia, Brazil. Page 2 Introduction Technological updates have proven to be a major factor in companies' competitiveness, either increasing productivity and efficiency of the processes or making the work safer and environmentally friendly. But, we should be careful when making decisions that lead to technological changes, for newer technology does not necessarily mean better solutions to problems or improvement in a machine performance. Every technology has its own limitations and application range, which we have to take in consideration when designing a new machine or just carrying out a modification in an existing one. It's not different with the dry gas seal technology that, even not being new in concept, is relative L new in applications. Bringing several welcome improvements in centrifugal compressor shaft sealing, Driga seals have quickly become the type of seal most used by the centrifugal compressors manufacturer. This paper discusses the reliability aspects involved in a major change in the shaft sealing system of an existing compressor. Briefly reviews the dry gas seal concept and compares its advantages and limitations with the traditional types of shaft seals, presenting the available bibliography, as well as our own experience with the conversion of a syn gas compressor's shaft seals, from floating ring oil seals to dry gas seals. Dry gas seals The dry gas seal concept is not a new one, but its application in centrifugal compressor shaft sealing has boomed just in last decade or so. Over 80% of centrifugal compressors manufactured nowadays use dry gas seals, Staly, 2001. It works like a mechanical seal, with a rotating ring running against a stationary ring, but without any liquid lubricating the contacting faces. The stationary ring, or primary ring, is pushed toward the rotating ring, or mating ring, by springs. Spiral grooves in the rotating ring, figure 2, generate fluid dynamic forces that lift the stationary ring off, forming a narrow gap between the rings. So, when running, the seal faces have no contact. Fegap varies from 3 to 10 microns depending on Fezial type, Goths, 2000, and is determined by the equilibrium between the force due the gas pressure, springs force and pressure force developed by the mating ring grooves. Dry gas seals are available in several configurations, single, double opposed and tandem, API 617. The tandem type is the most used in process gas service, mainly in high pressure and or hazardous gas applications. Figure 1 shows a typical tandem dry gas seal assembly, where the spiral grooves can be seen on the mating rings. Figure 1, typical tandem gas seal assembly courtesy of John Crane Figure 2, standard unidirectional groove design courtesy of John Crane T. The primary rings the gas in the seal chamber shall be clean and dry, for solid particle larger than 3 microns, Staly, 2003, can wear the rings facets out. And liquid particles in the gas make the crescion of pressure force between the rings difficult, causing the mating and primary rings running contact. Le compressor discharger from other sources of clean and dry gas, and ice injected with a pressure about 10 psi above the precise gas pressure. Needless to say that the seal gas conditioning system is as important as the seal itself. It is necessary, also, to avoid allowing the bearing lubrication oil to reach the seal faces. It's the function of the barrier seal installed in the bearing side end of gas seal cartridge. Figure 3 shows a cross-sectional view of type equal tandem gas seal, detailing all seal components and seal gas barrier gas inlet ports, and gas leakage ports. Figure 3, cross-sectional view of a typical tandem gas seal courtesy of John Crane. Page 4 Shaft Seal Types Comparison Table 1 shows a comparative economic evaluation of oil seals, wet seals, and dry gas seals block, 1998. 
Table 1 Wet Seals Dry Gas Seals Seal Oil Support System Costs Pumps, Reservoirs, Filters, Traps, Coolers, Consoles. None seal oil consumption 1 100 gallons day no seal oil maintenance costs a major expenditure over equipment life negligible energy costs seal power loss 10 30 hp unit driven pumps 20 100 hp 1 2 hp process gas leak age 25 scfm and higher 2 scfm oil contamination of pipeline high cleanup costs of process catalyst poisoning non toxic and corrosive applications buffer gas consumption egg n2 colon 40-70 scfm2 4 scfm unscheduled lead shutdowns high downtime costs very reliable aborted startups frequent rare the table presented by heinz block 1998 deserves some comments it was considered that the dry gas seal system has been designed within state of the art pre scenting therefore a very high reliability and low maintenance costs the costs related with the oil support system maintenance costs and energy costs are amateur factor in wet seals disadvantage comparing with dry gas seals the costs related with oil contaminations are also an important factor in favor of dry gas seals a key difference between the wet seals and dry gas seals is the support systems while the gas being compressed is not a major issue in wet seals to sin, the knowledge of the gas composition, cleanness and presence of liquid, at the entire operating range and all possible process variations hot can change the gas specification, are some of the most important design requirements for a reliable dry gas seal operation. J. Del Rahim, 2005, from John Crane Incorporated, affirms that analyzing dry gas compressor seals received from the field for refurbishment validates that most seal failures result from lack of clean and rebuffer gas. He wrote, also, common control system designs for gas seals consist of filtration, regulation and monitoring. However, although these control systems typically affair elaborate monitoring and regulation features, the filtration issue is often overlooked. In most cases, users and contractors initially choose standard filtration on virtually every application, regardless of gas composition and or presence of liquid or condensation occurring in certain gas mixtures. In that sense, R. Amon 2007, says that in reviewing dry gas seal failures experienced in 2006 and previous years, our conclusion is that in a majority of cases, the root cause is that the sealand system configuration were not designed to handle all the actual site operating conditions, including startup, shutdown and upsets that should and could have been anticipated figures for. 5 and 6 show a typical differential pressure control support system for tandem Drigas seals, API 614. The standard duplex filters used in this kind of system are not supposed to remove all solid particles and or liquid of a dirt and or wet seal gas. For that purpose a proper litisigned gas conditioning system shall be used, in order to consistently supply pressured, clean and gas to seals, either in steady state operating range or on startups and shut